All right, and we're live. Welcome to this live chat. Sorry, I was late again. <laughs> so many things to do on a day and all of a sudden it's time for me to sit with you guys. I'm not really used to chatting on a Saturday. So welcome. So nice that you uh, can join me on this uh, Saturday evening. Um, I don't know how your weather is, but if I look outside, it's still sunny. Here in Sweden, it's still about uh, 25 degrees, which is unusually warm and um, super, super good. So we actually just had some uh, dinner outside and um, my parents are over from the Netherlands. So that's very special, um, especially in these uh, these Corona days. So it's, uh, it's extra great. We just had a wonderful dinner outside in the sun. And uh, now I get to sit with you guys. I just, uh, I just did the lottery for um, for the tickets or like the postcards uh, that you could purchase on my online shop. And uh, we'll do that at the end of this chat, but welcome everybody. I see a lot of people coming in. We're on 1300 people here, wow. America and uh, I see a lot of different nationalities um, and lovely compliments, thank you. Here is Nick who's writing that I have the voice like an angel. Thank you. Would be interesting to know how they sing. <laughs> Maybe it's horrible. <laughs> we don't know. But I know you mean like it's angelic and that's very nice. Thank you. And here's Chile coming in, Colombia coming in, UK is coming in, Brazil is coming in. Oh, I, it's a really international day once again. Here is Canada, Ukraine. All right, Iran. Hello. Wonderful. India, I don't think you could get any more, you know, worldwide than this. Austria, Costa Rica, all right, Russia, <laughs> Algeria, Algeria, sorry. Um, that's a flag I'm not really sure about. Um, <laughs> Portugal, great. Well, uh, I hope your weekend is going well. Um, I guess in different parts of the world is Denmark too. Uh, Romania, hello. <laughs> um, in different parts of the world, the pandemic is, is treating us differently and um, we do not all have the same um, freedom. Netherlands comes in, Venezuela, Serbia, Germany. It's unbelievable, guys. Everybody, welcome to this live chat. It's so great to be here with so many of you. Um, I see Finland here, um, Mexico. It's just, it's fantastic. Romania, it's it's. I can't believe how many people are joining in from so many parts of the world. Um, that's uniting when you think that the pandemic is keeping us apart right now and touring is not happening as it's supposed to happen. Um, uh, chatting, of course, once again, I've, I've mentioned this in these chats before that it's enjoyable, but it doesn't really beat the real thing. But um, then again, now we can all meet at the same hour uh, here online. and. Um, well, uh, I hope you guys had a good week. Um, I had a really nice week, actually. I just started to sort of pick up working again. I took a, I took a bit of a holiday um, with with my family, with Hannes and, and Freya here in Sweden. And we got to kind of check her, um, the area a little bit where we live, because uh, we moved here uh, about two years ago. And um, it's, it's, it's a coastal area, so there's a lot of beaches and, and sea and everything nearby, but we never really got to really see it yet. So uh, we took the time to really investigate the uh, area and uh, find those nice beaches and uh, maybe a nice restaurant where you can sit outside. <laughs> and um, yeah, I mean, my skin doesn't take sun very good, unfortunately, but uh, good to uh, hide in the shade somewhere. There's a lot of rocks here. <laughs> It's good for a rock check, I guess. <laughs> yeah, uh, and we live in a wonderful um, countryside place, so uh, just hanging at home is a uh, true bliss as far as I'm concerned. Um, a lot of uh, what I've been doing lately, I took uh, with with me in, uh, in um, a new upcoming uh, uh, Saturday story time. So after this live chat of today, uh, that one comes online as well. For you guys to enjoy i tried to fix it for you earlier today but then again technical things uh happened and uh, now it's coming afterwards 
it was weeks of um, of work actually because um, it's impossible to really do this every week because not that much is happening but now I've been collecting stuff that I've been doing lately and everything is in there in that Saturday story time so once again after this chat it will come online and of course during this chat I will uh, reveal the winning number everybody uh, has been able to purchase these postcards on my web shop that um, tomorrow will be on uh, excuse me today is online for exactly one month and every month uh, while by purchasing these tickets you get a chance to uh, uh, will sort of win um, uh, a stage outfit. So uh, that's exciting because uh, of course the card, it's hand signed. Um, I really sat down with all of them. It was quite a work. My hand is well trained now. So uh, uh, yeah, that's a nice thing, but there's a nice addition to it that you can actually win something. So that's gonna happen at the end of this chat. I um, rolled the dice old-fashioned but modern enough that I rolled the dice on the phone so I'll uh, I'll post a screenshot so you know it's completely random uh, I don't know which name is attached to it and important to mention it could be that you purchased your uh, postcard yesterday and uh, it's um, on its way to you still so it might be that you have the winning ticket but you don't know yet because it's still coming to you by mail so don't worry um, we'll uh, We'll hear from you when you know, and if you do already have your ticket, well, let us know. I'll uh, I'll inform you guys online uh, where you can email your information to. And that's exciting. All right, let's see what you guys are writing. Are there any questions for me? Maybe. Will you include Turkey to your Europe tour? Uh, not as of yet. I mean, the European tour is. is is at stake we're really hoping we can still do it if not we're looking into rebooking and um making the tour rebook it as it was um if it's going to come to that is enough work so um i would love to come to turkey i've been there a couple of times if there's somebody writing get someone yes <laughs> um but but not as of yet but it's a good idea Cheers, everybody. It's a Saturday night um, here in Sweden. It's totally okay to drink, fortunately, even though the restrictions on alcohol are, as far as I'm concerned, completely ridiculous. As a Dutchie, I'm like, okay, but my dad is here and he took some nice bottles of wine. So I'm actually enjoying a really good glass of Rioja. Uh, of course, not bottled in the Netherlands. So cheers to you guys, to your good health. Hmm. <laughs> Nice. Somebody's writing that he's um, recently discovered Revamp and it's amazing. I'm glad you like it. It's a, it's a little heavier than, um, than anything else I've done, but I still love the fact that I've been able to do that. Sweden is the shizzle. Yes, it is. It's such a nice country. Did I see you're going to do shows with Hank Port? Yes. Yes, I am. Uh, in March this year, I was supposed to do a show in... Um, uh, in Afos Amsterdam that uh, was then postponed to um, May well obviously that didn't happen and then it was gonna be postponed uh, super hard to rebook a show uh, if you don't know you know what this pandemic is gonna be doing and um, uh, several options came by that all didn't feel really good eventually uh, we landed on uh, options in Afos, still the same venue, but then with way less people. So instead of um, 6,000 people together, it's going to be 1,100 seated. Uh, it's a beautiful venue and I've actually seen the place with seats in it as I've done the uh, sport gala there, uh, which is a Dutch event at the end of the year that uh, celebrates sports and sports people in the Netherlands. Uh, great honor for me to sing there. Uh, so I've seen that venue with seats, and and it can be it can be nice. Uh, else I just wouldn't want to do it because you still want to get the atmosphere right. Uh, so it's also going to be up to you guys coming to the shows whether or not uh, it's possible. Um, but we now have two shows booked on the nineteenth of October, and everybody that already purchased a ticket to the show. Uh, will get a first chance to buy tickets. So maybe you guys have already got the info and I'm, I'm informing you double, but I'm, 
Uh, I just want to make sure you got the news because uh, I'm really excited that I can finally do something and that there is a that there's a live show happening because it's so unnatural for me to just be home and wait for things to happen. So now there is light at that end of the tunnel. Anyway, by doing two shows a night on the 19th and um, Hank will be there as well. Uh, the Marcel Fischer Band will be there. So the show as we were supposed to do it in March is going to happen in October now. Plus, of course, I started this uh, crowdfunding campaign and uh, you guys uh, were so generous uh, so it was possible to record the show. So it is not just something that happens in the Netherlands because I realize once again joining you guys here on the live chat how international my fan base is, meeting you guys from everywhere in the world. I don't want to do one show in the Netherlands that nobody else can be part of. So it's going to be filmed and uh, it's not a live stream of the show, but it's going to be a proper recording uh, and a proper audio mix of that uh, that will come online afterwards for everybody to see. So it will happen. The show will happen and the video will happen. I just really hope that um, the people feel safe enough to purchase tickets for the show. Uh, of course, all the safety precautions are uh, being thought of. We're not going to risk anything. However, I understand, given again the international um, uh, well, fan base, that you guys might not be able to travel or maybe able but not feel comfortable. So I really understand that. Uh, for those who did not purchase already a ticket to my previous show, uh, I have to remember that it was the 21st of August. So next week, the tickets will be available for everybody. So things are happening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Now I answered one question and from that I babbled for another 10 minutes or so. So uh, let's see if you guys have any more questions for me. I get some hellos from different places in the world again. Um, somebody hoping that the concert in Chile will happen in January. I'm a little bit scared. Me too. I, I, we don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, let's see if I can go back in time to be an audience of any concerts. What would it be? Oh, I would love to see a Queen concert. I'd love to see Freddie Mercury with Queen. Yeah, that would be. Wow. And there, what do you think that Steve Harris from Iron Maiden, considered Nightwish as a powerful band. Yeah, it's a huge honor. I, uh, we, we met now several times because he, he really likes Nightwish. He, he, he's been listening to the music and we, when our paths uh, cross, he's uh, on our stage watching. <laughs> no pressure, huge honor. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a powerful thing to, to get that word from such a, such a fantastic musician that really knows what he's doing. <laughs> All right. Um, here's somebody saying that I think everybody would like to see Freddie Mercury live. Yeah, right? Isn't it horrible that his life ended so, so, so early? Mm, I'm scrolling a little bit here. Um, there's a nice hello from Pittsburgh. Hello, hello. And loves and loves from Mexico, from Montreal. Wow. Here's somebody writing my first concert was after forever and my daughter's first concert is going to be my concert and they're looking forward written in dutch sonia that's wonderful it makes me feel a little bit old i have to admit that but age is a good thing too it's so great that um music is being spread through the through so through generations or my music even so i'm, I'm well honored thank you <laughs> all right here is a loaf Internet. Come on, internet. You can do it. I was just around to read, did you plan to get more tattoos? I don't know. Can you see? And, good thing I've got two ears. Any song popping up? I'm waiting for an answer. <laughs> I'm just getting greetings from Harlem, Venezuela. Somebody saying, whoa. But what do you think? Here's a wolf, right side. 
And behind the left ear, there's a dog. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for it. Come on, guys. What could it be coming from my... Yeah, Jenny, wolf and dog. Clary, wolf and dog. Yes, it is. Uh, years ago, I wrote a song um, together with the guys from, from Revamp, uh, but the lyrics were mine for... Um, uh, for revamp that's called Wolf and Dog and um, the uh, the whole lyric is it, it's about the battle or the balance between uh, um, work and home life and everybody has the same battle one way or another and for me the wolf represents the hunt the, the going out in the world the career woman that wants to discover new areas and, and uh, take every opportunity possible um, where the, the dog uh, is the one that likes to be at home, that likes the routines, the safety, the comfort um, and and both needs to be fed. If I have a skinny wolf and a fat dog, I don't feel good. Like right now, I have a really, really thin wolf because it's not been out very much and the dog is just laying on the couch with the tummy as big as the couch itself. Like, yeah, I like this but it's not in balance. And that constant balance is a search that, that's important. And that's why I, I really like the placing because it has my head in the middle, which is the computer, the organizer of everything. Um, I don't know if this means, if you recognize any of this, but for me, it's, uh, yeah, I love the metaphor. And now, um, uh, yeah, now I have them. It's, it's something, it's a tattoo I've been thinking about for many, many years. and. Um, all my tattoos have been done in, uh, in uh, Italy, or at least by a fantastic Italian artist. I've been sharing her stuff quite a bit. Her name is uh, Silvia Preto. Uh, but this, uh, this one is done by Marcus Scherling. He, uh, he has uh, a, a new, brand new fantastic studio in, uh, in Schöfde, which is in Sweden. Um, he's been doing the majority of Hannes' tattoos. Uh, and um, uh, he's also the partner of one of my best friends. So we've been hanging quite a bit. He's a fantastic guy. And um, if there was anybody I could trust with such a theme, it was him. Uh, so it's been long in the making, where, what, how, and uh, now it's finally there. The whole making of this, it's in on the next uh, Saturday story time. So it's going to it's going to be in that. So another reason to uh, to stay online a little bit longer. We're going to release it uh, right after this um, this chat, though. Uh, somebody's writing painful. I thought it would be horrible here. I mean, it's such a thin skin and but no. Uh, Marcus has also got really, really gentle hands, fantastic, detailed, smart, small uh, uh, tattoo, not easy to make, not an easy place to really get that detail, but he, he just nailed it. So um, yeah, and funny to mention, uh, it's not going to be in that video, but it's I can tell you guys, this wolf and dog is inspired by a family weapon that Hannes got designed when we got together because uh, it, it had such an important uh, influence on both of our lives, so it's part of that sigil or design um, so it was extra important to have exactly that wolf and dog on me so yeah okay now that I've been answering another question for 15 minutes I'll go back into reading some of your questions um, how do I cope with my darkest moments um, I actually try to unravel why why I have one um, because often you don't feel good or there is something bad has happened and from there it's very very likely you go into quite a negative spiral and you start to add other negative elements to the already existing negativity and from there you just spiral on downwards into complete misery which often does not really uh, is not really true. So if I can stop myself in the process of spiral downwards, I'll be much better. If that is not happening, uh, I need to remove myself uh, from other people and uh, take take a breather. And uh, a mobile of meditation can help, which is something I recently discovered how to meditate because it's such a personal thing. Not 
every everything works for everybody. I found my way, or uh, oh, what can the woods will do. I thought that first I, I go to my horses, or uh, I'm going to pet my cat. But animals are so sensitive for the energy you bring, so they're like, oh no, don't bring that here. So I don't do that anymore. <laughs> the woods are good, <laughs> they're neutral, and they help to clean clean up the negativity. And uh, of course, it's all depending on how dark the moment actually is, but uh, usually this is really happening. I, uh, as somebody's reading, writing, asking, sorry, what my favorite gathering song is, that is still uh, Strange Machines. Uh, that's that that song just knocked me into uh, heavy music. So, yeah. Um, uh, there's somebody asking about the show in Vienna in this December. Hopefully, it can happen. We're working on it. We're working on the whole European tour to see if it can happen. Uh, we're having a plan be ready that if it doesn't happen November December, that we can move it into next year. Um, it's an it's a difficult puzzle to make because we're it's basically like looking into a glass globe what's going to happen or not but we're working on it so keep an eye out for our news because we'll soon soon something we we can uh, communicate. Um, here is somebody writing. I just want to tell you that Night Wishes Music has been a fantastic support during uh, the chemo. Uh, during cancer, I suppose, than uh, Sana, written in Dutch. Keep on doing it, she writes. We definitely will, and I really hope you're gonna get better and that the chemo is helping and that from there the music will cure you even, even more. Um, do I have any book recommendations? Not at the moment, but anything from um, Clive Barker is a go for me. <laughs> Um, do I, if I had a close encounter with wildlife while walking those woods, yeah, yeah, almost every time. Um, I mean, here, the, 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 there are not that many people, uh, especially if I take one specific route that I've been taking quite a few times uh, when we still had our dog Alma. Um, I think because of Alma, quite a bit was scared away or was scared off because of her. So I might have never seen it if, uh, if not. So I have one funny um, moment where I was walking her and uh, she was off of the leash uh, in the period where you can have a hunting dog uh, free because that's not always possible. You need to leash them um, in certain uh, moments of the year. But now she was off of the leash and she was going for it and then she then I heard her uh, bark in a type of bark I didn't hear her have before. So I was like, oh sh shit, something's off. And I was actually on the phone with Hank. I said, Hank, I need to go. I'm sorry, something is off. Something is happening. And just as I said that, a gigantic moose came running by. Uh, or running, it was trotting, it was not highly stressed, and Alma was right after it doing that peculiar bark, and she was like, look at that, Bob, look, 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 I found a moose, I, I don't know what to do with it. And the moose was like, God, this is annoying, I don't really feel threatened, but I'll, I'll, I'll remove myself from this place and maybe it goes away. <laughs> so the as the moose was trotting, slightly galloping away from me with Alma after it, I said, Hank, I need to go, my dog is chasing a moose. So I hang up and um, I called for the dog, which of course had no interest in me whatsoever. Uh, and I started to run after her, which you, you feel so clumsy with your two legs um, and your big rubber boots going after a hunting dog that chases a moose. You don't stand a chance. So I was calling her and I, I kind of felt like, yeah, good luck, Floor. Uh, she's not coming back. She's going to come back one time when she's ready. And then all of a sudden she was there like, did you saw me? Did you see that? I just chased a moose. And that was it. And then we continued walking, nothing happened. And so I called back uh, Hank, I said, sorry for the hold up, uh, the dog is back. Yeah, yeah, it's better that you uh, hang up when uh, when you meet another dog. I said, no, we, don't, we did not meet another dog. I mean, I never met another person while walking here once, <laughs> let alone somebody else's dog. It was a moose. <laughs> A moose? I said, yeah, how many people do you talk to that needs to hang up on you because their dog is chasing a moose? It's probably just me. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> that was a good one. Uh, and apart from that, almost every time I walk, I, I see something from a squirrel to these huge big birds that live here called shadet in Swedish. They're massive to just a regular pigeon, which are also beautiful. Um, deer, there are a lot of them here. Um, they come here in the garden as well, uh, trying to keep them away from my crops and my flowers. And uh, hair, yeah. uh, I saw a very uh, particular um, owl one time. Uh, I wouldn't know the word for it in English, but it's quite small and it has these massive eyes and it was just looking at me like, are you a threat? And I just look up like, oh my God, I need to take a picture. And as I took a couple of pictures, I was looking on my phone, did I, did I get the right picture? I looked back up on the tree and it was gone. And so it took off without a sound. I don't know if you've ever had a, an encounter with, uh, with an owl, but the fact that they can take off without, without any sound, it's just a little bit eerie and, and wonderful. Nature is great. So yes, every, every walk uh, I encounter something. <laughs> Small ones too, like ticks. We have a lot of those. There's nothing romantic about that, but they're also there. <laughs> All right, well, let's see, because you guys uh, were here with over a thousand people dropping lines. Thank you for that. I keep seeing all these nationalities dropping in. It's fantastic to uh, to be here with everybody. Um, <laughs> some reactions on my moose story. Moose, yeah. Oh my God, there they are. <laughs> Um, somebody's asking who will be my next guest in Floor Finds. I actually have a new one recorded and uh, who do you think it could be? Can I add exciting music? Next guest in Floor Finds is... Nothing's happening yet. Come on, guys. Who do you think could be my next guest in Floor Finds? Simone? No. Hello, can girl again? Oh, I didn't know you write it like that. It's extremely long. It means cheers and, and finish. Hello, can girl again? Hmm? Somebody writes Hank? No, but uh, Conrad here. Conrad Attila writes Elisa from our Enemy. Yes, yes, yes. That's going to come up. So uh, I see some other names coming up like Hank and Simone and Hannes. Ozzy Osbourne, Tom Englund. Um, Preto, like Sylvia, that would be a very good idea. Annika, maybe Thomas. Corey Taylor, mm -hmm. yeah, or Troy. Uh, Arjen Lukasse, Gippis, mm -hmm. the Queen of England. Yeah, yeah, I've got her on speed dial. Um, Donald Trump. Sorry, but no. Um, Taria or Sharon. Yeah. Um, Rammstein. Sure. Yeah. So a lot of good ideas. Trump. No, I'm sorry, guys. That's not a man you talk with. He he talks something and it doesn't matter what you say. Um, there we have Devin Townsend, Amy Lee, Lizzie Hale. I really like all your ideas. So, um, Mark Rutte, yeah, he's the Prime Minister of uh, the Netherlands. I'm sure he would join. Yeah, let's talk uh, politics. Um, yeah, thank you for all your ideas. I'll uh, take them into consideration because uh, is Simone in the show? Are you there, Simone? Welcome. <laughs> yeah, are you also having a nice line of, uh, glass of wine? And now it sounds like I just drank a whole bottle, which is not true. I uh, will do that after this. Um, and I'm spilling it. Oh my god. Yeah, that's what you get when you think you're... It's the placebo drunk effect. Um, yeah, or tattoo artist. Yeah, like uh, Sylvia or maybe Marcus. That would be super nice. Christina. Yeah. Well, hey, the next uh, Floor Finds is coming up very 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 soon and for those who didn't um, uh, join me uh, previously the uh, uh, Saturday story time number four is coming up right after this uh, live chat and um, yeah that's exciting um, another exciting thing that I would like to tell you is uh, how cool I think it is that you guys are so into my uh, uh, online shop because I've I've doubted about 
getting one for quite a while because um, there are so many things you can already buy and then when the when my solo shows came I thought it was nice to maybe get some merchandise and sell some music and you know let everybody know what I've been doing uh, because some people that have been starting to follow me since Best of Summers the TV program last year were maybe not so familiar with me and my my music so um, I've um, uh, yeah, now put everything in an online shop because the shows were not going to continue as they were. Plus, I had this idea to uh, also sell off things that I've been uh, using or wearing throughout the years. Because, wow, one can collect after 20 years of jewelry, shoes. Well, some things are just too worn to, to ever put out again. But there there were amazing amount of things. So that's why I... Um, I came up with my bazaar on the website, which is not completely my idea because I actually um, borrowed slash stolen the idea from uh, Annika because she has a fantastic bazaar on her Instagram. And uh, when I saw that, I thought it's such a creative, great idea to, um, yeah, it's a win-win kind of thing. And um, yeah, so I, I got inspired there and, and have it on my website instead of like an Instagram account. Uh, if you never watched her Instagram account, I would totally advise you to go and do that. But um, yeah, I have I have that bizarre kind of thing on my uh, my website where where you can purchase these things and uh, uh, everything is sold out like this. But I just wanted to let you know that more things are coming, uh, even on next Monday. So I, just in two days, more items will be added. So you just got your heads up. There's somebody walking into the room. Who could it be? It's a world of internets. <laughs> it's the internet. It's the internet. Mm? Wow. I know, right? I'm gonna join you now. Yeah. What's up, world of internet? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you guys have any questions for um, for Hannes? You think so? I don't know. Hey, Hannes. Hey, hey. Hannes, up? <laughs> I'll give you uh, one chance of um, asking whatever you want, and I'll answer truthfully, probably not. He has and his fingers behind his back. And then I will back off again. <laughs> you can't use that language on that. That's how I speak any Dutch. Hmm? Uh, in klein beetje Nederlands, langzaam Nederlands praten. Maybe about Thank the you lichaam? He learned something really good from uh, Martijn from Delaine. Yes, I did. My lichaam is my temperature. Hoe gik surfningen? <laughs> hey Andreas. <laughs> Hello Hannes. Do you have a? Uh, yes. How is your hobby doing this great day? Great. What is your favorite song of Floor's? Um, I think my favorite song of Floor is um, Coming. Yeah. Yeah. Still make. I'm still making his favorite song. Yeah. So for me, who's lucky enough to hear this before it's even finished, um, you have a lot of cool stuff to look forward to. Mm. <laughs> Thanks. Nightwish or Sabaton? Well, depends on who you ask, I guess. I guess you. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Sabaton. <laughs> Duh. If you and Flora could, uh, could you say ciao? Ciao. Yes? Yes. Ciao. <laughs> Is Hannes in the Nightwish tours? Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. I visit. Do you like Avatar the band? Of course I do. Great friends, uh, great friends of mine. Sabaton, is that a question or a statement? It's a statement and it, I think it comes with love. Yeah. <laughs> Come to Rio, that's a good idea. Yeah. Can somebody kick out the pandemic, please? That will be on the first available plane. Hannes, do you dance tribal too? There is this lyric video of tribal where there is a whole army of uh, skeletons dancing. And uh, it's, it's time you learn. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What's my favorite things to do around the house? Um, Vacuum cleaning, cleaning up by me, making food. No, it's telling. not. Oh. It's not. What? But what do I like to do? <laughs> I like riding motorcycles. I like surfing. I like um, riding the four wheelers. Cook food. Hang out with our daughter. Hang out with my beautiful wife. Um, play Great music. Uh, play drums. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right music? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. 
I, I think in general, making the best out of the situation that you can, that's, that's up to every person to do. Yeah. If you can't do what you do, you do what you can. Deep bitch. It's a Bon Jovi quote. <laughs> well, he's right. <laughs> Vacuum cleaning when somebody's recording. Yeah. yeah. It's a good background. So favorite I'm car. Fun. Well, a car you didn't get stuck with. That's my favorite car. Do you also ride, ride horses? No, I don't. Oh. It's, I should start. I'm working on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What you guys maybe not know is that Hannes is a fantastic cook. So when it comes to food and that, I'm, I'm very lucky because I am a practical cook and I sometimes take time, but I usually think eating his food is the best. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a drum hero? Yeah, of course I do. I do have John Bonham and Keith Moon. That's where I started. And then there's so many good drummers out there. Do you like Metallica? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's nice. Do you think if Fred's going to be a drummer or a singer? A uh, lawyer, hopefully. I would say a singer. A singing drummer? Yeah, or a drumming singer. It's like um, Dave Grohl? Yeah. And a bunch of other people. Yeah. Have you ever visited Canada on a personal vacation? I did, actually, when I was a teenager. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I have family in Canada and we yeah, went right, up to yeah. their cabin and then took a trip. From Toronto to Montreal and back. Yeah, super nice. No, I never did. Only touring. Oh, what kind of motor do you have? Motor? My motor Two wheels. That's well, as far as I can. Yeah. Well, we have, um, <laughs> as of now, one KTM 690. And we have one Honda 500cc. And we have one something for Freya that's 49cc. But that's a four-wheeler so we have one motorcycle and then we have a, a big four-wheeler and a small four-wheeler. Yes. A really small four-wheeler. Which is great. Yeah that's for moms it's quite exciting to see your three and a half year old on a four-wheeler <laughs> but she's kicking ass with it. Yeah what food do you enjoy cooking? Well so my favorite food speaking from for myself would be um, Italian food. The whole culture of Italian food with um, just the, the great quality of the products, uh, that's, um, that's absolutely my favorite. I, I like to cook it, not necessarily say that I master it, but I enjoy cooking all kinds of food. But Italian, absolutely one of my favorites. Um, they asked if you ride a motorcycle. Yes, she does. What? A motorcycle? Yeah, yeah well, the four-wheeler. That I, I ride. Yeah. Yeah. I even really enjoy it. Because when Hannes bought it, uh, it felt like Hannes bought it. He said, we need that when, when we moved here. And I Pizza like, or pasta? So I don't both. think. Mm -hmm. I agree. I think we really need it. I think you need it because it's a good man toy. Um, but he, I was so wrong because it's, uh, it's great to have here. Uh, especially when you have horses and a little bit of forest around here that needs man, uh, maintenance sometimes. And it's super practical to have. But it's also fun. And now you have a motorcycle with two uh, wheels. Um, that for me is more scary than my massive horse of 750 kilos. So I don't see myself jump on that too, any day soon. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. We'll film it for you. Yeah, no. <laughs> Ooh. If you had to pick one food at Ikea, what would it be? The ice cream? <laughs> I don't. If I could... I would. I don't really enjoy going to IKEA actually. So um, no, I hate going to IKEA. You have somebody asking if you're vegan too. I'm not vegan. Me neither. So I'm a vegetarian. Yeah. Um, oh, somebody wants us to go to Dubai. Have you ever been there? No, never. Me neither. I'd love to go. Ooh, do you watch horror movies? You mm. do. Yes, I do, absolutely. I, uh, but not, not that much since we got Freya. Because it makes you all... Um, you can't handle it as a parent that well anymore. I never Fact. could handle it. I'm. But we did a few, yeah, for sure. We watched a lot of new movies and series and uh, it's a good way to wind down after a full, no. full day. I love winding down. I don't have any. That's mm -hmm. because you drank it. Favorite horror movies. Well, oh god, I just took out all these cool posters I had from our studio here, but um, 
oh, there's so many good horror movies. Um, so my my favorite when I was growing up was Terror on Elm Street, and I still really enjoy that kind of you know eighties, early nineties kind of horror movies. Well, here's a nice one in Dutch. What Vint Hannes from Netherlands? What do you think of the Netherlands? Obviously, I like it. <laughs> he took a little bit of the Netherlands with him home to Sweden. Um, do you have any memories from your show in Argentina? Yes, I do. I have very fond memories of going to Argentina. That was my first time being there. And uh, our, our first show with Sabaton, I think, actually. And yeah, we had an amazing time in, in Argentina. Amazing food. And the show was unbelievable. Somebody was ready to give the man a drink. I'm actually yeah. drink. I don't want to do any commercial, but here's a Dutch beer that my parents took with them. It's a Lentebok, which means it's like a spring bok beer, which is uh, not something you can purchase in the uh, Swedish store. And mm-hmm. I don't mean stores. There's one store in Sweden that sells alcohol, yeah. and it's all restricted and uh, expensive and limited. So now Cheers we have some holes. That's how you pronounce it. You can practice now. Holes. A lentebok. Good luck. Lekker. Lekker? Love from Iran. Can you say it? Love back. Love from Italy and love from... Um, what was the other one? So fast this thing. Mexico. Yeah, I know, but that's what you have with 1200 people. Lentebok. So what mess up? Miss having Caprinias, yes, of course. With real cachaça. Yeah, not the stuff they sell in Sweden. Once again, sorry for just Can you imagine a reverse cover? Floor plate rums and honey sings. Yeah, if we can do it really, really slow, because I'm not great, and we just do super high pitched. I was thinking of uh, Ghost Love Score. Sure. I'm just going to practice a little bit. Yeah, give us a year or ten, and then we'll organize this now. We'll be back live in ten years. Yeah. <laughs> with auto tune. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, yes, I will have one more question, then we got I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Where's Freya? No idea. <laughs> Sleeping. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We have to keep our faces straight, but it's a, it's funny. She's you nowhere know, in Macedonia. Yeah, of course. We've been there, too. <laughs> Freya, my parents are here. So uh, we asked Freya earlier tonight who uh, she wanted to, uh, who was going to be the person bring her to bed. And uh, that was Grandma. Grandma's favorite nowadays, so uh, she's, uh, she's sleeping. It's quarter past eight here in Sweden, and... Uh, for a three-year-old, that's, yeah, she's in uh, the land of the dreams. All right, any last questions for... For altitude, you should visit Dutch rappers. Yeah. Yeah. That goes for all. It's an international phenomenon, I'm afraid. Yeah. Yeah. All right, last questions for Hannes. Yeah, and I will... You don't need to fuck up, but just... I don't know who Hannes is. Can he sing? What hobbies does Floor have? What does Hannes do for work? Okay. Happy drums. That's a three-parter. He is the drummer of Sabaton and my husband and dad to Freya. Like Sepultura from Brazil, of course. Yes. Okay, guys, behave, have fun. <laughs> See you later. Bye, babe. See Bye. you later. All right. I can see we're entering the last 15 minutes of our chat, which means that pretty soon I'm going to be revealing the uh, the numbers of the winning postcard uh, that you were able to purchase on my webshop. So that's exciting. Um, I still uh, see some messages coming in for Hannes. It was super nice he could join. Thanks for the spontaneous love and questions to him as well. Um, it's nice that he just dropped in. He did lift the beer, so I'm lucky. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs> mm. I know I've been bashing a bit about the whole Swedish alcohol system, but I grew up uh, with a good appreciation for alcohol, as in I like a good wine, I like a good beer. I don't need to drink, drink it. I don't need to get drunk, but I appreciate the taste of it. And um, yeah, that is something that, that doesn't seem to really... Um, work here so well and I, I know that it can there are a lot of people that really appreciate the taste and and more the um, yeah joie de vivre that comes with with it and not just alcoholism um, so the yeah that's a good way of being raised I guess with a good drink so I don't want to come off as a total alcoholic but I do appreciate a good drink all right um, yeah so we've had the last um, we have the last 10 minutes starting. Are there any more questions for me? Somebody's sneaking up behind me. Sorry, guys. 
Oh, guitar needs to be fed. We'll steal this. Yeah. Bye. Very important. Music needs to be made whenever the inspiration comes. He obviously is a drummer, but plays guitar as well. Um, have I heard of this band called Nightwish? They're pretty good lead singer. Hmm. No? Well, I'll check it out. Uh, do I listen to other Swedish music other than Sabaton? Yeah, sure. I like Avatar. I like um, uh, Amaranth. Um, I like Evergrey. I like In Flames. Um, uh, Amon and Marth. I mean, oh God, there's so many, so good Swedish bands, and I know I'm now going to forget a whole bunch of them. There's, a, it's not a metal band, but the, the, the Swedish singer called Doreen. She won the Eurovision Song Contest a couple of years ago. Unbelievable voice. It's um, yeah. So there's so much cool music coming from Sweden. Yeah. Um, any more questions for you before I go into? Uh, there's somebody also bashing the uh, alcohol system in Sweden. It needs to be less restrictive. Actually, yeah. Um, do I? Do you have plans to have another son? Well, I don't have a son, <laughs> so uh, no. <laughs> I have a daughter called Freya. She's three and a half. Um, do you think your popularity is rising in the US due to floor reaction ideas on YouTube? Um, I don't know. I find that hard to monitor, actually. Uh, but it would be interesting to know. I mean, there are so many of these reaction videos nowadays. Uh, a lot of them actually are from the US. So, yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> do I like Florence and the Machines? I love that, actually, yeah. Uh, how do you do your eyeliner? It's very impressive. Thanks! Uh, by hand. And then hope that it comes out good. <laughs> so I'm just asking how my daughter's doing. She's she's doing really, really good. Uh, she's above standard tall, as you might expect from tall parents who are both tall. And yeah, very happy and healthy. That's most important. And other than that, just talking really well, motor skill, motorical skills really well. So she's just jumping and running and uh, biking and uh, it's unbelievable. Uh, the amount of energy a three and a half year old child has is something to envy sometimes. Yeah, but she's doing really good. All right. Oh yeah, the fight goes on. I mean, time just poof whooshed by. But last week Friday, uh, the English version of um, a Dutch song that I did previously got released. It's called "The Fight Goes On," uh, something that is written by Han Koreneef, Dutch uh, songwriter. Um, for a war child, which is an organization that helps children in war zones to cope with their um, their traumas and um, uh, or zones where horrible things has happened, just like now uh, that the horrible horrible uh, event in uh, Beirut that happened. So uh, they're there as well, helping children to uh, yeah be kids again, be happy, be be able to talk in their way about what happened and um, yeah worldwide they make a huge difference especially for the kids so that's an organization I'm very happy I can support and uh, so the fight goes on all the money generated from that song goes directly to War Child so if you haven't checked it out I hereby invite you to do so uh, and maybe also if you can miss the money uh, buy it because that money is going to be well spent on the uh, psychological welfare of children worldwide um all right guys um last eight minutes it's time for the winning number um what i did i have this uh, app on my phone uh where i can roll dice with and uh, i got all the numbers of uh, the, the, the tickets purchased so i had to have a four number uh, uh yeah something of four numbers and um, the number that came out is three, two, three, six. I'll write it down so you can see it in good old fashioned. The first letter, some numbers, two, three, two, three, six. Three, two, three, six. I hope it's not mirrored. <laughs> um, 
we'll be uh, putting this online too. So if you're not on the chat or once again, if your ticket is still on its way to you by mail, don't worry, you don't have to, you know, tell us right now that you're the one with the winning uh, number. Of course, it would be um, great if you were <laughs> online. Nice uh, compliment here from uh, Mark van Gemer. Floor, you bent the beste, je hebt de gouden strot. Grote uit Brabant. Dankjewel. <laughs> Very nice. So guys, the winning number is going to be 3236 uh, for the postcards that you can purchase online on my webshop. Um, Monday, as on Monday, uh, the, the uh, new tickets can be purchased for yet again a new item. Um, so I invite you to go back to the shop and see if that is an item you would like to be able to win because uh, it's just going to continue. Uh, and not only that, also uh, other items are going to be uh, added to the bazaar on Monday. So that is going to be cool. And um, after this live chat, the uh, uh, next episode of uh, Saturday Storytime is going to get online. So that is happening. And in case you've missed yesterday, the purchase of my live shows tickets are now online. For those who already purchased a ticket to the original concert in Afos, Amsterdam, it was going to take place in, in March. So um, the first week, uh, only the people that bought the ticket initially has the first chance to buy tickets for the new concert, for the new dates. And, um, or date, sorry. And well, after that, on the 21st of August, the purchase for everybody is going to be available. Uh, I understand that it's difficult to buy tickets for concerts as of now. I really understand the insecurity. Do know that we are going to live by all the restrictions and all the safety precautions for this concert. You're not going to be sitting close to each other. You're going to have the space to be healthy, but to still enjoy a concert live with me uh, and Hank Port, who's going to be there as well, and the Marcel Fish event. So that's going to be... Um, that's going to be happening on the 19th of October. Um, I'm really looking forward to hear from whomever won the first stage outfit here on uh, online with the number 3236. Um, once again, it can still be on your in your uh, yeah your mail. It's going to come to you by post. Um, we have four minutes left of our chat, so if there are any last minute questions, I'll be taking them now. Um, yeah, congrats to the winner from somebody that's super nice. I really miss live shows. Oh, God, me too. It's excruciating to just see everything disappear. Um, um, am I allowed to sing alone? Along at concerts? Are you allowed to sing along at concerts? Yeah! Absolutely. I mean, you're not going to be sitting close to each other. So you can you can scream your lungs out as far as I'm concerned. And, you know, that's what you do with live concerts. So, yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, I would like you to consider doing the meet and greet like normally, not sitting on a table. You and the guys are really nice, but that makes it really cold for fans. Right. Well... I don't know what you consider normal, um, but for us, that's that is our normal. If we meet over 100 people a day, uh, it's extremely intense, and to get good pictures, that structure has been really, really working for us. That's, so that's why we do it. Somebody's asking what my horses are called. They are called Auri and uh, and Lily. So the the brown one is Auri, and the light one is uh, the big one is uh, Lily. After my mom. Um, somebody's asking if I'm going to do some collaborations with somebody. Um, well, I'm writing music. Um, and so also in this new episode, uh, Saturday Storytime, you're going to find out with who I'm writing. One of the people that I'm writing with, there are several people. And um, yeah, so that I, I consider collaboration. So it's not as actual singing or making music together. Uh, I've picked up songwriting uh, earlier on this year and uh, growing more comfortable in my uh, capabilities because I, I love it but I always feel that I've been growing more as a singer than as a songwriter so I'm exploring my 
yeah, my possibilities. And that's super nice to do. And uh, it's great to work with experienced people that I trust and like. And uh, more about that, though, in the, the next episode of Saturday Storytime. Um, Somebody is writing here. I hope that you have a fine kväll and it smells bort i värmen um, in Swedish for I hope you have a nice night and not melting in the heat. Uh, at the moment, it's pretty okay here. Uh, I know in other places in Europe, it's uh, it's really warm. But um, yeah, uh, I wish you all a super super good night. And um, uh, I thank you so much for joining this live chat. It was enjoyable to talk with you guys again. I I hope you enjoyed joining me tonight again. Uh, wonderful once again to see so many people from so many different countries. It's unbelievable to see um, the whole world just jumping on this chat. Uh, it's really heartwarming. I hope that you're all keeping yourself uh, healthy uh, as well mentally as physically. Uh, lockdowns or all these restrictions are just not easy to cope with. Uh, seeing your life change uh, is very difficult. Uh, keep following uh, the instructions of your local governments also difficult you just don't know who to trust and who to believe and if whether it's the truth or some political agenda but uh y yeah use your own um intelligence be smart about what you can do uh remember that there is a real virus out there it's not a joke but um yeah just be careful with who you meet if it's not just for you it's for other people that might be more uh, sensitive to the virus and other than that just enjoy life enjoy what there is because we are alive and we are doing so many more things that a lot of people in different parts of the world like war zones cannot do so um, please stay happy stay healthy um, let's all be creative for the time being and uh, look forward to uh, moments that we can see each other again. Live concerts that are coming is going to go back to normal or at least a new normal. But for now, I wish you a really good night uh, wherever you are in the world. A good day, a good night. Uh, thank you for joining. Uh, I really hope to see you next time. And please stay tuned online for a Saturday story time that's about to come online. And... Um, Check out Monday for new stuff in my bazaar, for new tickets you can purchase in the online shop for a new uh, winning ticket. And um, of course, the live show that's now online. Uh, I really hope you guys can join me there and that I can see you in October. Thank you for joining. You guys are awesome. Hope to see you soon again. Bye. Okay, this was a goodbye. And now I just need to find the right button. <laughs> here <laughs> it's not working <laughs>